So my video last night did pretty good. I want to say about 7,000 recommendations and then 140 something views right now. That's pretty decent. But today we're going to be talking about growing gourds, zucchini, or squash, because both of them are basically the same, and then pumpkins. They all fall into the same family, so let's talk about each of them. We're going to go well in depth, so this video might be a little longer. Alright, so firstly, we're going to be talking about zucchini. Now, I'm going to be reading off of a paper, so sorry if it is a little rough to see this, because I am reading off of a paper. So you're going to want to need a full 6 plus sun session, so this, these plants get plenty of sun since this is literally just an open area that we put our garden in, but other times they don't. It all depends on like cloud cover, but a good healthy plant should be getting at least 6 to 8 sun hours per day at least. Const you're going to be constantly giving them the moist soil that they're going to need. So you're going to need to water them about 2.5 centimeters or an inch of water per week which is going to come in with most of these plants that we're going to be talking about today. These plants don't require the most amount of water, but there are still plants that you can grow with a lot less water. Just remember, a drip irrigation system is mm, it's super easy to build. I made one in last... I didn't make one, but um, I made a video talking about them uh, during yesterday's video, so if you want to check that out... Yeah. Alright, you're going to need to make sure the soil is at least 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, I'll flash it up on screen right now, but when you see these plants, like they're growing pretty healthily right now, but the deer got in last night, um, that's because the soil's pretty warm. A good time to plant this, uh, I gotta say, probably like early June or late May. Depends on where you are in the states or I don't know where you might be growing this stuff. Depends on where you are. All right. Every zucchini plant should be sown three to four inches apart. So, so take like a tape measure and measure three to four inches. This is every zucchini seed because not every zucchini plant is going to come up. These are not corn with a five out of six germination rate, which I believe is like what like. Here, I'll put that number up on screen and I'll put in a little thing while editing. But that is, but these have a much lower germination rate according to the internet. But for my garden, they had a much higher germination rate, so you never know. So, if there's more than one, try to rip it out. The one that looks more healthy should be the one that should be kept more dominant. Last year, we had two sunflowers growing in one. That's kind of odd, but okay. They both survived. They both bloomed. Last year, it was not really a good season for sunflowers because it got really wet. And this year, we're in a drought. Not a terrible one. We're in a light orange, so not bad. And then we're going to need to water every two to three days. And over the course of the week, you're going to be giving about an inch or two of water. So, about um, the same as every other plant. And yeah, an inch or two of water every week. That's going to be something to talk about later. Alright. You're going to need to provide the plants constant moisture. Like I already, like I always, um, why did I put twice in the notes? Alright. So you're going to need to make sure there's row covers for the plants. So you see this on the ground right here? This stuff, this is row cover, so that way you can keep like some of the pests and the um, and the other stuff out of out of control. It's pretty easy to set up, but you are gonna need a flamethrower, so you can start or something else that'll help melt these in. Or you could take the extra time and actually cut giant holes in these things. We just used um, we just used something to melt these things. I don't know if it's a flamethrower or not. Fertilize every one to two weeks. So yeah, that's what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to be fertilizing these every one to two weeks. So yeah, I don't know what fertilizer I use, I don't know everything off the top of my head. I'm reading off the of notes that I took down. Um, you're going to need to make sure you're harvesting plants as soon as they're three to eight inches long. So I made a zucchini bread video and most people only grow zucchini for the zucchini bread, but other times they do it for the other stuff. I'm going to flash up that video on screen right now. And then, yeah, I'm going to flash up a zucchini um, harvest. And then flowers will be orange. And I feel like all pumpkin plants always have like orange flowers on them. So that's one thing you should be keeping your eye out for. And then, and then no trellis is actually needed for this, but a lot of these plants will actually require a trellis, especially since they're in the pumpkin family. Alright, now it is time that we are going to be talking about growing squash. Yeah, 
Squash is another type of zucchini, but it is a little different because you have summer squash and you have winter squash. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you plant your summer squash once all the frosts have passed. Now I have no squash in my garden, but I have um, seen squash before since, um, yeah, a couple of my family members do have squash in their garden. And yeah, I go out there a couple times and I see the squash. And that's how I know the difference between summer squash and winter squash. You're gonna to wanna to plant the summer squash, usually in like late May or early June, after the last frost has passed. And then you're gonna plant the winter squash sometime, I'd say about like early August or late July. Because winter squash, you harvest them in like mid fall. And then you're gonna plant them three to six feet apart. So yeah, make sure the spacing per row is three to six feet apart like that. This is about, I don't know, I gotta say like two and a half feet. That's because there's different plants there, but if you're doing a lot of uh, squash, more than one row, this is where you want to splice them three to six feet apart. You want to make sure that you're going to have six or more hours of sunlight, like I already said before. Um, yeah, you can make sure three to six hours of sunlight at the very least. That is a really big thing to talk about. Um, you want to make sure there's at least one to two inches of water per week for every squash plant, which is a pretty big thing to talk about. That's a lot of water actually if you're in like a bad drought. So make sure you're using your water wisely at the very least one, at the very most three. Fertilize at least twice. Oh my God, fertilize at least twice um, before. So before you grow them, you're gonna wanna fertilize them or, and then as they start blooming, then you're gonna wanna fertilize them again. You can also fertilize them multiple other times, but these are the big fertilizing, uh, fertilizing time periods for your plants. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to harvest them once they've reached six to nine inches. You see what I did there? So you're gonna make sure that you're gonna be harvesting them once, uh, once they get six to nine inches um, long. It's, a, it's very similar to uh, zucchini. You can harvest them a little earlier, but they will taste a little bit more bitter when you do that. Um, plant in a spot that has reasonable soil. Now I should have mentioned this earlier since a lot of y'all have probably already clicked off this video, but you're gonna make sure that they have reasonable soil. You can use compost, you can use mulch, you can use a lot of different stuff. And then plant in a spot, and then you're gonna wanna make sure you don't really need a trellis, so a trellis is this right here where plants get to like attach the little things to and then they get to grow up. But a trellis is not required, but it is highly recommended for these plants. You don't need like a big one. It doesn't actually have to be a big trellis. It could also be a smaller trellis, doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna make sure that you're gonna be careful of some bugs, like cucumber beetles, potato beetles, some sort of fungi and other stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you should really be keeping note of when you're growing these plants. All right, so this next chapter of the video will take us all the way out here to talk about the gourds. Now I just talked about two, from, two very similar things from the pumpkin family. This is basically a pumpkin, but a lot smaller, so I decided to separate these two out. So you're gonna make sure that your gourds are sowed about, I gotta say one to two inches in the ground. It's not terribly deep. Uh, I gotta say about like half of your thumb. So stick about half of your thumb into the ground and then put about a seed, and then put um, a seed in there. You wanna put two to four seeds per hole based on uh, what your seed packet's germination rate shows. It all depends on like what their germination rate is. But yeah. Corn germination rate, five out of six. I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but I will know it once I'm editing the video. All right, so you're gonna need a trellis for this. This is one that you're definitely gonna be needing a trellis for. Now, I think, um, yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have um, some stuff over here. We're gonna have a giant trellis for this general area. Yeah, these are gonna be plants that are definitely gonna be needing trellises because these are plants that are gonna need some support to, these are plants that are gonna need some emotional support to help grow up to, to the size of like the cucumbers and the tomatoes. All right, so now you're gonna need about plenty of water. I'll get into that in a minute. Every week, but only during hot times, you'll need more water. That's actually the thing I found on the internet and yeah. I had to do a lot of research and a lot of note taking. So you're gonna to want to harvest the gourds as they develop their full cover. So like when you stand, well, that's just like 20% covered in their main color. It all depends on what type of gourd you get. You could get ornamental go gourds or something else. I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna make sure that when they're developing the cover, you're gonna color. You're gonna harvest them. So then what you're gonna to want to do 
is they're gonna wanna take note of how long this is gonna take to grow, which is 75 to 110 days to grow. This is just to grow, this does not count like the fruit and the stuff that's gonna form on it. Why did I call that fruit? It's not fruit, all right. Two feet apart, so, so you see these right here. Every, I wanna say planter, so every plant should be two feet apart from its other um, hole. Not like two feet apart in its same hole, but like two feet apart from its separate area. So that's why these are more spaced out. And then you're gonna make sure that they're five feet apart from other rows because these are gonna need a lot of space to grow, but you can also do two to four feet if you don't have that much space. And you wanna make sure you're not using that much space. All right, then you're gonna make sure that there's one inch per water, one inch of water per week. So every week you should expect to use one to two inches of water on your gourds. It'll definitely help them mature a lot better. All right, you're gonna to wanna to make sure until they're vine. Oh, that's for the pumpkins. Why did I take that note right there? Um, yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that like the vine, I think this is also tied in, but like you wanna make sure that the vine dies as you harvest it, but it also happens to happen at the exact same time, so yeah. Um, they are used for many different purposes, but most people actually get it for decorative purposes, which I can kinda see that. All right, now pumpkins have a really low germination rate, and unfortunately, because there's not been a lot of rain here, uh, and there's no irrigation system. Not that many pumpkins came up this year, but I'm hoping we have enough. Uh, all right, so first one we are gonna be talking about today is, well, you're gonna wanna plant them in the early summer. We planted these in, um, I wanna say around June 5th. That's what I wanna say we planted them around. Um, yeah, we planted them around like June, like early June. Sorry, I have to like, get these goddamn horse flies off my head. All right, so looks like there's more success in the pumpkins around here than over there. Looks like I can see three pumpkins with the naked eye, maybe four right here. Five, yeah, that's pretty much it. They have a really low germination, right? Like much lower than the corn. But even that, we only had like uh, two out of three success with the corn, which yeah, I'll put it up on the screen right now. All right, so. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put it in a three to six foot wide area. So this area right here. You see this right here? So let's just say we had pumpkins coming up right there. They would sprawl all over this area. That's what they need it for, just because the vines can grow up to 15 feet long. All right. Once you have three or four plants, you're gonna to wanna to remove the remaining flowers that are on the pumpkin plant. So yeah, you're gonna to wanna to remove the remaining flowers. So if there's like three to five, um, pumpkins on one single plant, you're gonna to wanna to remove the flowers off of off of that plant. Any more that come up, just, you know, for other standards. All right, and then it'll take, and then once, all right, I already did that, it takes six to nine weeks, see what I did there again, uh, for, for a, I can't even read off my own notes, for, I'm gonna cut this out. It takes six to nine weeks for a, I'm just gonna say plant because I literally cannot read that to grow. Oh, pumpkin, I can't read that. For a pumpkin to grow. Plant, you're gonna wanna plant one to four seeds per hole based on what the seed packets are gonna say, obviously. Some seed packets are different, some seed packets are the same. Water, one inch of water per week. You know what that means? We've done an absolutely shitty job up here of trying to water. Wanna know why? Because, well, up here, there's just way too much like, you know, it's just been so dry over here. Like we're in a light orange, moderate drought. It's, it's really just taking a toll on what we currently have as for plants up here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna, gonna be a big summer this year. I'm hoping that we can reach 200 by the end of the summer. But you know what, let's see if we can reach see if we can reach 5,000 by 2030 and if we won't reach 5,000 by 2030 I will personally cry so subscribe to the channel and let's get out